we also need to talk about curved mirrors. So a concave spherical mirror is one example. A concave spherical mirror. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here's what we'll, we'll start out with this. This is a concave spherical mirror. Now, the concave spherical mirror is very easy for me to have a conversation with Kelsey about because she could see herself in the mirror. She could look at herself in the mirror. She could see all sorts of things going on to her in the mirror. And even Andrew's getting to enjoy a little bit here. <laughs> now, the difference is that you guys can't see it because really you need to be along the principal axis of the mirror, which is pointed right directly toward Kelsey at the moment in order to be able to see it. So what I've done for you is I've taken a brief video so that you can see what happens to the image in a concave mirror. Ooh, ooh. I want to take a moment to talk about concave. Because we have two different kinds of mirrors, a concave mirror and a convex mirror. Concave mirror. Convex mirror. Concave mirror. Convex mirror. Concave. Look, Kelsey's in the cave. Concave mirror. Convex, you're not in the cave. Concave, you're in the cave. That's how I remember. <laughs> so, this is a concave mirror. What you're looking at here is, on the left, you see the mirror, and on the right, you can see me and my wife was videotaping. I was videotaping, it was fun. Me, and enjoying myself. We're going to talk about what you just saw in a little bit. There are some terms that we need to learn before we can understand everything that was going on there. Uh, let's do this. Okay, some terms. We have our light. I can take our light and I can make it into several different light beams. Okay. So now I have several different beams of light coming out. We have, again, our mirror. You can see this is class specular or diffuse. Specular. specular, you can see all the light rays are coming off in the same direction. The incident and the reflected ray are all in the same direction. I can now take a curved mirror and I can do this. And you can see for this curved mirror, we have all of these rays are focused at one point. Class, what do you think that's called? The focal point or the focus, right? Because that's where they're all focused. So you can see this point right here is going to be the focal point, that point right there. We also need to talk about, because this is a concave mirror, if I flip it over, this is a convex mirror. Now, the difference here is that for the convex mirror, this light ray is reflected this way, and this one is reflected this way, so they're actually all diverging from one another. Unless you were to connect them all, they would actually all connect someone over here. So the focal point for this, a convex mirror, is actually going to be on the opposite side of the mirror. That's one important thing to understand about a convex mirror, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, in chapter 15, we talk about lenses. This is a lens. This is called a converging lens. Look at what it's doing to the light rays. It's converging them. I know the terms are very confusing. So it's a converging lens. You can see they're all converging right there. Okay? We can also have something called a diverging lens, which takes all the light rays and is going to cause them to diverge from one another. Okay. Again, we're back to talking about mirrors, specifically in this case, so terms having to do with mirrors. The first one is the concept of the focal length. The focal length, or the focal point, you'll hear both terms um, if you look. And the best way to, to, to describe these is just with visuals, okay? Here is your mirror. We have light rays moving toward the mirror, and they all intersect at the focal point. The focal point right there. This is the focal point. This is called the focal length. You'll hear me use the terms interchangeably. 
focal length or focal point. Focal point refers to a specific point. The focal length refers to the distance from the focal point to the mirror. We also have the concept of the radius of curvature. The radius of curvature would be the length from the mirror along the principal axis to what is called the center of curvature. So the center of curvature is the specific point. The radius of curvature would be the distance. The two, the focal length and the radius of curvature are related. The radius of curvature divided by two is the focal length. So notice we're going to refer to something called the principal axis quite often, and you can see that that is the line down the middle, the principal axis, the axis of the mirror itself. 